Chapter 1 Dying on Monday Narrated Hisham's father, Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said, I went to Abba Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him, during his fatal illness, and he asked me, In how many garments was the Prophet, peace be upon him, shrouded? She replied, In three, Sahuliya, pieces of white cloth of cotton, and there was neither a shirt nor a turban among them. Abba Bakr further asked me, On which day did the Prophet, peace be upon him, die? She replied, He died on Monday. He asked, What day is today? She replied, Today is Monday. He added, I hope I shall die sometime between this morning and tonight. Then he looked at a garment that he was wearing during his illness and it had some stains of saffron. Then he said, Wash this garment of mine and add two more garments and shroud me in them. I said, This is worn out. He said, A living person has more right to wear new clothes than a dead one. The shroud is only for the body's pass. He did not die till it was the night of Tuesday and was buried before the morning. Chapter on Sudden Unexpected Death Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, a man said to the Prophet, peace be upon him, my mother died suddenly, and I thought that if she had lived, she would have given alms. So, if I give alms now on her behalf, will she get the reward? The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied in the affirmative. Chapter on what is said regarding the graves of the Prophet, peace be upon him, Abba Bakr and Umar, may Allah be pleased with both of them. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, during his sickness was asking repeatedly, Where am I today? Where will I be tomorrow? And he was waiting for the day of my turn impatiently. Then, when my turn came, Allah took his soul away, in my lap, between my chest and arms, and he was buried in my house. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, in his fatal illness said, Allah cursed the Jews and the Christians, for they built places of worship at the graves of their prophets. And if that had not been the case, then the Prophet's grave would have been made prominent before the people. So, the Prophet, peace be upon him, was afraid, or the people were afraid, that his grave might be taken as a place for worship. Narrated Abu Bakr ibn Ayyash, may Allah be pleased with him, Sufyan al-Tammar told me that he had seen the grave of the Prophet, peace be upon him, elevated and convex. Narrated Arwa, when the wall around the graves of the Prophet, peace be upon him, Abu Bakr and Umar, may Allah be pleased with both of them, collapsed during the Khilafa of Al-Walid ibn Abdul Malik, the people started repairing it, and a foot appeared to them. The people got scared and thought that it was the foot of the Prophet, peace be upon him. No one could be found who could tell them about it till I, Urwa, said to them, By Allah, this is not the foot of the Prophet, peace be upon him, but it is the foot of Umar, may Allah be pleased with him. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, narrated that she made a will to Abdullah ibn Zubair, may Allah be pleased with him. Do not bury me with them, the Prophet, peace be upon him, and his two companions, but bury me with my companions, wives of the Prophet, peace be upon him, in Al-Baqiyah, as I would not like to be looked upon as better than I really am, by being buried near the Prophet, peace be upon him. Narrated Amr ibn Maymun al-Awdi, 
May Allah be pleased with him. I saw Umar ibn al-Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, when he was stabbed, saying, O Abdullah ibn Umar, go to the mother of the believers, Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, and say, Umar ibn al-Khattab sends his greetings to you, and request her to allow me to be buried with my companions. So Ibn Umar conveyed the message to Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. She said, I had the idea of having this place for myself, but today I prefer him, Umar, to myself, and allow him to be buried there. When Abdullah ibn Umar returned, Umar asked him, What news do you have? He replied, O chief of the believers, she has allowed you to be buried there. On that, Umar said, Nothing was more important to me than to be buried in that sacred place. So, when I expire, carry me there and pay my greetings to her. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her and say, Umar ibn al-Khattab asks permission. And if she gives permission, then bury me there. And if she does not, then take me to the graveyard of the Muslims. I do not think any person has more right for the Khilafah than those with whom Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, was always pleased till his death. And whoever's chosen by the people after me will be the Khalifa. And you people must listen to him and obey him. Then he mentioned the name of Uthman, Ali, Talha, Az-Zubayr, Abdurrahman ibn Awf, and Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqas. By this time, a young man from Ansar came and said, O chief of the believers, be happy with Allah's glad tidings. The grade which you have in Islam is known to you. Then you became the Khalifa, and you ruled with justice. And then you have been awarded martyrdom after all this. Umar replied, O son of my brother, would that all that privileges will counterbalance my shortcomings, so that I neither lose nor gain anything. I recommend my successor to be good to the early immigrants and realize their rights and to protect their honor. And I also recommend him to be good to the Ansar, who before them had homes in al Medina and had adopted the faith. He should accept the good of the righteous among them and should excuse their wrongdoers. I recommend him to abide by the rules and regulations concerning the Dhimma, protected non-Muslims, of Allah and his messenger, peace be upon him, to fulfill their contracts completely and fight for them and not to tax, overburden them beyond their capabilities. Chapter On What is forbidden as regards abusing the dead? Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, the Prophet peace be upon him said, don't abuse the dead because they have reached the destination of what they forwarded. Chapter On Talking About the Wicked Among the Dead Narrated Ibn Abbas, May Allah be pleased with both of them. Aba Lahab, May Allah curse him, once said to the Prophet, Peace be upon him, perish you all the day. Then the divine revelation came, Tabbat yada Abi Lahabin watab. Perish the two hands of Aba Lahab. Quran chapter 111 verse 1.